Coming up on its seventh anniversary, the Motorcyclopedia Museum in Newburgh, New York, is continuing to evolve and expand its collection of vintage motorcycles. I would say those numbers probably increased by about 100 to 120 motorcycles since the opening. Um, and we're constantly re uh, uh, revolving exhibits, changing exhibits. Some things haven't changed such as a timeline of Indian motorcycles going back to the company's founding in 1901 and an area devoted to choppers. A tour of the two-story museum by board member and collector Dale Prusinowski in late January revealed some new acquisitions, including a cluster of early Harley-Davidsons. This, right behind me, uh, there's about 13, 14 motorcycles. Um, most came, nine or ten came from a private collection, um, undisclosed private collection, um, that um, were uh, ranging from, uh, it was mostly the Harley Davidsons actually. So those Harleys were from a uh, private collection. But then we have a couple of European models here, uh, which were acquired from yesterday's motorcycles in the Netherlands. So what's so what's the, what's the range? I mean, what, what's the range of, the, of these Harley Davidsons? They look very early on. Mm -hmm. So they range from uh, the early teens to the early twenties, and there's one for each year. Particularly interesting was an old bike made in Switzerland. This is a 1921 Moto Sokochi, which um, was manufactured in Switzerland. It's a 600 cc motorcycle. Um, a lot of unusual features, very early, I guess we can call it a, a disc brake, but it's a combination of a disc brake and sort of a, a scrubber bicycle type brake. Um, same in the rear. You can see this, this big hub right here, big brake. Um, hand crank to start, not a kick start, crank it. Um, very, very interesting features, an enclosed chain. The Moto Sokochi isn't the only brand name that may not be familiar to museum visitors. There's a 1924 Nut, which stands for uh, Newcastle upon Tyne. It's a V-twin 680cc motorcycle with some um, unique features. Um, from what I understand, very few manufactured. Prusinowski also has some of his own motorcycles on loan for display, including an Italian model. It's a 1959 Mondial Lusso. Lusso meaning luxury in Italian. Uh, it's a 125cc that I bought in Colorado. And I had it shipped to New York. Sight unseen, saw it on eBay. Uh, my mom was at my house, she, she said, um, I, I asked her what she thought about it, she said, oh, you must buy that. She says, it's beautiful. And I bought it, and unfortunately she passed away a week later. Um, so she never got to see it? She never got to see it, yeah, unfortunately. Um, but uh, Mondial has um, a pretty good racing history back in the early 50s to early 60s. And they competed with MV Agusta and Jalera and Perilla. Uh, so this model uh, was, was um, done in 1959 to commemorate their racing history. And I hope you're going to get some shots of these great decals that are uh, on top showing what, uh, what uh, races they won over the years. Also on display is Prusinowski's 1957 Triumph and his bright yellow 1956 Harley-Davidson KH model. So how many bikes do you have? 16. From common to uncommon or? Um, sure, you know, ranging from uh, my earliest bikes, a 1928 uh, up to a 2016. But mostly um, I own a couple of bikes from the 20s, nothing from the 30s and 40s. I own some from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80. We know the newest one is an Indian Scout. What's the oldest one? Uh, a 1928 Indian Scout. And yes, the 1928 Indian Scout is on display. 
This model actually is quite unusual. Most people think it's a, a 101 Scout, which came out in 1928, but the 101 Scout came out in late 1928. This is an early 1928 Scout, which was made for export. Uh, it went to Australia, and what's very unique about this bike is uh, in Australia, they took on the same laws as in the UK, and they required dual brakes on motorcycles. Domestic model Scouts in the early 20s did not have a front brake. So this bike is unique because it has dual brakes in the rear. It has an internal drum that works off of the hand lever and an external band that works off of the foot pedal. Also what's unique about this bike common to other British bikes, it's got a front wheel stand to be able to service the front wheel in the event you have a problem out on the road. Domestic models did not come with that. Despite being open since 2011, the Motorcyclopedia Museum is still attracting new visitors who are just discovering it and providing feedback. Well, for first timers, they often say, it's just an unbelievable place. I can't believe I've never heard of this before. So uh, we're trying to do a better job advertising, um, but that's probably the people are just impressed by the collection, the massiveness of the collection itself. In Newburgh, New York, for Ride Connecticut and Ride New England, I'm Bud Wilkinson.